Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're gonna look at steel from Rasmus. Now, what is steel? Uh, at its core, it's a nail bend. It's three different sizes of nails that you'll be able to bend either through mentalism or strength right in front of your spectator. In fact, you can even pass on your magical power to your spectator and they can even do the nail bend. Sound exciting? Let's watch the trailer. I don't even know how that, like, like as a magician, I don't know how that happens. <laughs> <laughs> Try to bend it. Try. No chance. Yeah. Because you don't have the power to bend today in solid steel. Okay? But I want to give you the power now. Watch. Try again. Hold it. And just bend it. Come on, bend. Come on, bend. Really? Yeah. And try to make it straight again. You will see it's impossible. <laughs> Ooh, hang on. And that starts to bend. Do you see that? Yes. And now just open up your hands. Watch. All right, so that was Steel and Rasmus. I'm really excited to share this magical review for you because it's just such an awesome trick. A couple questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews, and the first of which is, what's in the box? What's in the box? Uh, you're gonna get a box, a real cardboard box, and then inside that, you're gonna get a ton of nails. Uh, you're gonna get 20 35 millimeter nails. You're gonna get 10 80 millimeter nails. You're also gonna get 10 100 millimeter nails, they're little small ones. And then you're gonna get 14 real nails. So 14 real nails exactly match the gaffed nails. And so you'll be able to use those as your convincer. You'll also get a little card that has a download code to uh, give you access to the uh, video. The video is 33 minutes long. You're also gonna get two bonus videos. Uh, you're gonna get one from Tino Platts, and that's eight minutes. And you're gonna get another one, uh, just like a bending tip, and that one's three minutes. All right, so is it what I thought? Uh, it's exactly what I thought. It's it's, it's a nail bending trick. It's, it's nails that bend. Um, I mean, I think the ad copy is really straightforward about what you're getting, and that really is what you're getting. There's no lies, there's no deceit. You are getting steel nails that Rasmus will teach you how to bend. No switching. How are the angles? The angles on this are flawless because you're not, like I said, there's no switching. There's no switching, there's no ditching, so there's nothing to hide. You can do everything right in front of your spectator. Rasmus is gonna show you just a ton of really cool ideas on how to do this nail bend right in front of your spectator. Can it be inspected? This is the other great thing about this trick. It can totally be inspected, and like I said earlier, the spectator can actually do the nail bend in their hand. And, you know, it's, it's the convincer, of course, you have the convincer nails if you want to use those. Uh, you can even take the gaff nails and hammer them into a block of wood. They even pass that inspection, so that's awesome. And, and, so, and don't think 
in the inspectability, you know, you, you say, well, I can let the spectator keep the nail, and I'm worried that they're going to go home and bend it some more, and then they'll realize it's just a bendable nail. That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen because the magic, okay, the magic is in the technique of the nail bend, all right? You're learning the technique. Your spectator doesn't know the technique. They're going to try to bend it like you would bend it, but you don't bend these nails through strength. You bend it through just knowing how to do it. It's more about leverage and, and Rasmus is gonna teach you that information. Your spectator won't have that information. So literally you bend them and you can't bend them back, all right? You couldn't take it and bend it back the other way. That would take more strength than most people have in their hands. I don't think anybody could do it. So I don't think there's any worry about inspectability with the trick going home with anyone either. All right, so what's taught on the DVD? Uh, you got Mark Lavelle and you have Rasmus and they're sitting like in a living room environment. They're sitting on a couch and they're covering all of the basics, how to bend uh, every single type, every single size of nail. You got various routines, you got different presentations, uh, tips and advice about how to bend the small one, how to get the leverage on the small one. These nails are totally versatile and they will serve your needs well. Is it well made? Uh, getting the box and opening it up, these aren't like plastic rubbery nails. These are real steel nails. It looks like you just bought a box of nails. In fact, go to the hardware store and buy a box of nails and then put your gaff nails in that box. It's just an even deeper convincer. I don't think anyone will believe that these are magic nails. I think they will be convinced that they're real nails. How much practice does this require? Uh, I would say practice, okay? You're gonna have to practice. Don't just think you're gonna pull them out of the box and just go to town. I realize it's $50 and they're almost like a dollar a nail, so every time you practice, you're, you're spending a dollar, but you wanna practice to get, like I said, it's not hand strength, okay? You're gonna try to use hand strength, but it's not hand strength. It's, it's more about leverage, it's more about technique, not your strength, not your personal strength. So your spectators, like I said, they won't know what to do. So you should practice on all three sizes just so that you know uh, how to do each one. How much setup and reset is there? Zero. Like I said, you bend them, you can't bend them back, you spent the trick, your reset is pull out another nail from the box. <laughs> Positives. All right, so one of the positives to steel. I think Rasmus has given the magical world the ultimate nail bend. I can't even fathom what a better nail bend would look like. All right, so negatives. You know, like we say around here, there's negatives to everything. These are just the negatives that I see. They don't have to be the negatives that you see. Uh, like I said earlier, it's about a dollar a nail. Dollar a nail makes it a pretty expensive trick, but you're doing an impossible thing. Talk about an impossible object trick. You are showing them an impossible thing. Nobody can bend nails with their bare hands, okay? That's, you can't do it. All right, so that in and of itself, it, it, it might sound like a negative and you do have to practice. You're gonna waste some and no, don't think that, well, if I bend it, I can just bend it back. You can't bend them back, okay? So you spend them and they're wasted and so uh, you'll have to buy refills, okay? So if that's a negative for you, I don't know, but you will have to buy uh, refills. The good news is the refills are available in the different sizes. So let's just say between the large and the medium and the small, you end up liking the medium better. You can just buy a box of medium next time and you don't have to worry about the other two, all right? So the bad news is really good news. Who would like this? I think anybody that wants to do the easiest, most magical looking nail bend ever would like this. All right, so that is Steel from Rasmus. And I wanna thank Murphy's Magic for allowing me to have this trick so that I could do the review for you. And if you would like to purchase this trick for yourself, you can find it from your very favorite Murphy's Magic retailer. Thanks, bye.